What's your overall feeling about the group that you have right now? Yeah, you know, we, we lost a lot of playing experience, uh, you know, with the, the Twins being gone and Darren Daniels being gone. But I'm really excited about this group. Uh, we did play a lot of guys, and we try to rotate as many guys as we could um, throughout the season. So we have some guys that are going to play for us this year that have taken a lot of reps, uh, of course, and Ben Stilley and Darren Daniels, uh, Damon Downs, excuse me, and, and uh, uh, Deontay Thomas. So, those guys played a lot, and then the other thing too that was uh, that was really helpful was having the redshirt rule. So Ty Robinson was able to play some for us last year, get get his feet wet, and you know also Casey Rogers. So uh, really excited about this new group of guys coming up, and they're hungry, they're eager to play. Ben Stilley, it, it seemed to me, played maybe his best football right toward the end of the season. What did you see from Ben, and what are your expectations for him? Uh, I got very high expectations for Ben. I think he's got high expectations for himself. Uh, he's very smart. He's like having a coach on the field. Um, and he's taking ownership uh, during this offseason, especially during this time here with this pandemic, to you know get the guys together, try to master the playbook, uh, doing a lot of player run activities as much as they can together. Um, but he's he's been doing a wonderful job, and we're going to need his leadership and a lot of guys look up to him because he does all the things the right way. So I got a high expectation for him, and he knows he's got to carry a big load for us this year. You mentioned DeAndre Thomas. That's a guy that's been around the program for quite a while. He's played a lot of Big Ten football. That's, that's a guy that I think – is that, is that one of the guys you, you trust that when you put him out there he's going to do the right things? Yeah, no doubt. You know, with uh, DeAndre Thomas and, and Damon Daniels, like those guys played a lot for us. So I definitely have a lot of trust in those guys that – come out and play for us and you know DeAndre is awesome because he he gives us some flexibility um you know he's not the the biggest guy but he plays big and he's tough and you know he can play some end for us and he's also got possession flex uh position flex to play at the nose guard position for us and I didn't play him much this season at the nose guard position but I have done it in practice and I have confidence that he can do that too as well for us. The next group, the next class of guys was Casey Rogers and Tate Wildeman. How about those two, and how important are they now to your room? Well, they're really important, you know, especially coming into this season. Uh, you know, I told a lot of the guys when we were coming into spring ball that everybody's up, and, you know, everybody has a chance to showcase what they've got and show how they can help our team, and we're going to need each and everybody to, to uh, contribute in some way, and, you know, I think Tate has done a phenomenal job during the off season, getting himself big, fast, strong. He looks great right now. Uh, Casey does too, as well. You know, and Tate, you know, early on in his career when he got in here, um, you know, was looking at being a guy that can contribute early, but then got injured. So, you know, he's been he's been a warrior. He's been battling through that, and I think he's uh, back to 100. percent So I can't wait to see uh, him be able to come out and help us out this year because we're going to need his length. He's got good athleticism. And, uh, you know, for a guy that's as long as he is, he can give some offensive tackles, some fits because he's got long leverage. And uh, for the first two practices we had in spring, I really liked what I saw out of him. And then in Casey Rogers, you know, he gives he gives us some position flex where he can play some end and he's getting uh, bigger too as well where he can play closer to the ball for us. So I really like both of those, both of them and their development and where they're coming so far. And they're so young. They're only going to be sophomores. So I'm excited for – you know, what they're going to be able to do for us here in, in, in uh, a few years to come, too, as well. Yeah, we're visiting with Husker defensive line coach Tony Tuioti here on Sports Nightly. Um, last year at this time, a lot of high thoughts and expectations for Keem Green. He got to camp a little bit late. You were able to use him for a couple of games but kept the red shirt on him. Give us a progress report on Keem and how big a factor can he be for the Huskers? Uh, you know, I've had conversations with Keem just – talking about those specific points for him to come in and, and be able to contribute for us right away uh, this season. And, you know, he needed that year last year, especially because he came so late to learn the playbook and be able to, you know, understand what we want to do up front and with his fundamental technique. But he did an awesome job in January getting himself in shape. Uh, I thought he had a really good two days of practice before we were shut down because of the pandemic. And, um, you know, he looks good now here in, in – uh, in some workouts too right now. So we're going to need him. Uh, he's, he's a big athletic body that can play uh, defensive end and also play nose guard position for us, similar to 
you know, what Carlos Davis was able to do for us too as well. So, um, you know, I love his size and his strength. So we're going to need that for sure. Coach, you had two guys that were you were able to keep a red shirt on last year as well as Keem, and that's Ty Robinson and Mosai Newsom. How about their progress as football players in this program and their ability to help the Huskers out this fall? Yeah, love Ty, love Mo. I mean, those two, they have such great great attitude, great demeanor. They're, they're team first guys. They want to do whatever they can to help the program out. I know Ty Robinson came in. Uh, you know, with very high expectations to come and contribute early, and we've had a we had a conversation just in terms of big picture for him and how we can really maximize his opportunities here, and and you know probably using the red shirt to get his feet wet, and you know now he's he's ready to go. He looks great, and um, I'm really excited about Ty. Um, I think he's going to be uh, um, you know a very special player by the time he gets out of here. I know that's putting a lot on him right now, but. Um, he has that demeanor. He's got that want to. And, um, you know, he's doing everything he can right now to get himself in a position where he can, he can take a lot of snaps for us uh, this upcoming season. I don't like to put a lot on him early and uh, have him go. And so he's a guy that's going to be able to do that for uh, multiple years for us here. So I'm really excited about him and his development and his growth so far. And then uh, Mosai Newsom, uh, I thought he did a great job last year helping out in the scout team and Every week, Coach Frost and Coach Held and all the offensive coaches would come to me and say, hey, Mosai is hard to block on that side. And uh, they're really excited about him. And, you know, he gives us some pass rush ability, too, as well. Um, he's getting himself bigger. He came in about 250, he's sitting about 285 right now, so he's put on some good weight. So they're young players that I'm really excited about. And, um, you know, if they continue to grow and develop, we should be okay here for the next few seasons up front. Well, I know all last fall uh, going into the recruiting, you knew you were losing a lot of experience, and so you went and found a couple of junior college linemen to kind of bolster that a little bit, and Jordan Riley and Phil Darius Payne. How about their their you know, adaptation into the program? Obviously, you had Jordan here for the spring. How about those two guys? I know Riley, Riley uh, creates a shadow. That's a big body. Yeah, Jordan is a really big body. Really, when you look at it, you got Jordan that's uh... – and about six six, he's sitting about three thirty five right now. When he came in, he was about three oh five, uh, and he looks great. He's working hard. You know, Coach Duvall does a great job down with the strength and conditioning program. And you know, I really like where Jordan's at physically. Very athletic for a big guy. Very similar to Ty Robinson. And uh, you know, those two guys are both six six, sitting about three. You know, Ty's anywhere between three twenty five and three thirty. And Jordan's about 330, 335. So, you know, looking at the roster from last year to this year, uh, we're longer and we're bigger than we were last year. And, and these guys are pretty athletic for their size. They just don't have the game experience, uh, you know, like the Twins brought to us for many years and, and Darren too as well. But, you know, they have the athletic ability, I think, you know, just getting a few games under their belt and, and being able to, you know, uh, <clears throat> deal with uh, – What's going to happen from game to game with them? I think they'll be good to go by the time we get into conference play and all that stuff. But you know, we lose out on uh, those uh, those non-conference games now, so they got to be ready more than ever now. Again, busy with Tony Tuyoti, Husker defensive line coach here in our position breakdowns. Two high school players were given scholarships in your room, and that's Marquise Black and Nash Huttmacher. Give us the the update on those two guys who've been here for just a short time. Yeah, I think everybody knows everything about Nash. I think he's probably one of the most popular guys on social media just with what him and his dad are able to do in the weight room and out hunting and fishing and all that stuff. But, you know, Nash is as blue collar as it gets. Uh, he's great here. The guys love him. Uh, you know, I don't know if we have enough weights for him to lift here in the weight room. I think the other day, Coach of all had him squatting, and I don't know if there was any more room left on the barbell to add any more plates on there, but... I think by the time Nash leaves here as a senior, he's probably going to be the strongest guy we've ever had here. Um, and so he's great. Um, Marquise Black, very athletic. Um, he's somebody, too, as well, that I'm really excited about. He's somebody that, uh, you know, can win on the edge and then also be strong enough to be able to play in the run game and at the point of attack. So uh, really two, two young guys that are, uh, you know, that come in and see how they can help us this year. Uh, but interior guys, nonetheless, that, that we're really excited about having. 